Hello mga ka JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about joint variation. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to illustrate situations that involve joint variation, translate into the variation statement a relationship between two quantities given a mathematical equation, and solves problem involving joint variation. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload ko mga video lessons. Pindutin din ang like button sa baba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo. So, let's begin. Okay, define muna natin kung ano ba yung joint variation. So, joint variation occurs when one quantity varies directly as the product of two or more other quantities. So, kagaya din lang ito nung direct variation. Ang kaso, yung, yung isang quantity magvavary siya directly sa two or more quantities. So, hindi isang quantity lang siya magvavary. The statement Y varies jointly as x and z may be translated mathematically as y equals k x z or k equals y over x z where k is the constant of the variation. So, ito yung statement ng joint variation. y varies jointly as x and z. So, mapapansin nyo dito, kamukha lang din siya nung uh, direct variation. Ang kaso, Um, hindi lang isang quantity siya magbavary. So, dalawa na siya. Da dalawa or higit pa. So, dito dalawa siya. X and Z. So, di ba dun sa direct variation, uh, Y varies directly as X. Yung unang variable na nabanggit, nasa left side. Tapos, yung pangalawang variable na, na nabanggit, nasa right side. Tapos, imumultiply siya sa constant, di ba? So, dito naman, sa so, um, joint variation, um, magbavary siya sa two or more um, quantities. So, dito dalawa siya, di ba? XC. So, ang gagawin lang natin doon is, idadagdag lang natin yung um, isang variable na, na dagdag, na, na dagdag doon sa statement natin. So, um, hindi lang X yung ilalagay natin sa sa right side na equation. So, kasama din yung isang variable na z. And then, ito naman yung equation para sa constant. So, na-derive lang itong um, constant equation na ito dito sa uh, mathematical statement natin na to. So, para makuha yan is, uh, kailangan i-isolate si k sa right side. So, i-divide natin both side ng equation ng xz. So, kung kapag binibide ko ng xz ito, Maka-cancel itong xd dito. Tapos, y over xd naman to Kaya, nakuha, nakuha yung y over xd dyan. Okay, joint variation and increase in one quantity causes an increase in the other quantity as well. On the other hand, a decrease in one quantity causes a decrease in the other quantity. So, kagaya lang talaga siya ng direct variation, ang kaso lang uh, nalagdagan yung mga variables natin or quantity. Okay, for example, yung quantity natin na y at saka xz. Kapag tumas daw yung y, tatas din tong mga quantities natin dito. And kapag bumaba na sa y, bababa rin yung mga quantities natin dito. So, same with direct variation. Okay, write the mathematical statement for the given variation using k as the constant of variation. So, number one, p varies jointly as q and r. So, paano natin isusulat yung mathematical statement ito? So, again, kagaya lang din sa direct variation. So, ito yung nabanggit na unang variable, di ba? p varies, varies jointly. So, ito yung nasa left side. Tapos, itong q and r ito yung nasa right side na kasama yung constant. So, magiging siyang P equals Q, uh, KQR. 
Okay? So, una nabanggit na variables P, tapos yung QR, QR nasa right side kasama yung constant. So, minimultiply lang yan. Number two, the area of a parallelogram varies jointly as the base B and altitude H. So, again, na unang nabanggit yung area na A, so ito yung nasa left side. Tapos, itong B and H, sila yung nasa right side. So, jointly yan, ipagmumultiply natin yung BH kasama yung K. Magig siyang A equals KBH. And number 3, the electrical voltage V varies jointly as the current I and the resistance R. So, unang nabanggit itong V, it varies jointly sa current I at resistance R. So, ito yung nasa left side at yung IR naman ang nasa right side um, kasama yung constant. So, pag multiply natin yung tatlo. So, ang makuha natin ay V equals KIR. Okay. So, kag kagaya lang din ng uh, previous video lesson natin. So, ito yung mga steps on how to find the constant of variation at the equation of variation. So, step 1, write the mathematical statement of the variation. Step 2, find the constant of variation. And step 3, substitute the constant to the mathematical statement. Okay, example number 1. Z varies jointly as X and Y. If Z is equal to 3, when X equals 3, and uh, Y equals 15, Find the constant of variation and write the equation of variation. Again, hahanapin muna natin yung constant ng variation para makuha natin yung equation ng variation. So, step 1, write the mathematical statement of the variation. So, ito, z varies jointly as x and y. So, una nabanggit si variable z, siya yung nasa left side. And, uh, it varies jointly. Kapag nakita na natin yung jointly na yan, ibig sabihin, uh, yung mga variables na susunod dyan ay pagmumultiply natin. Kasama yung constant. So, yung mathematical statement natin dyan ay Z equals KXY. So, di ba? Um, uh, huling nabanggit tong X and Y na to, kaya nasa right side sila. Kasama si constant. Pwede natin i-divide both side ng equation ng XY. Para makuha natin yung equation natin for constant. So, kapag dinabide natin both sides ng x, y na yan, ma-isolate na lang si k dito. Maka-cancel kasi ito. Tapos, ito, as is na siya. z over x, y siya. Okay, yan. Tapos, k equals z over x, y. Yan yung equation natin for constant. Step 2, find the constant of variation. So, nakuha na natin yung equation natin for constant, diba? Ang gagawin na lang natin is, I sa substitute natin yung mga values ng z, x, at y dito sa constant equation natin na to. So, yan. Papalitan ko z ng 3, si x ng 3, at si y ng 15. So, simplify. That is 3 over 45. 3 times 15, that is 45. And, uh, 3 and 45 is are divisible by 3. So, yung lowest term natin, makuha natin ay 1 over 15. So, yung constant natin dito ay 1 over 15. So, step 3, substitute the constant to the mathematical statement. So, nakuha na natin yung constant, diba, na 1 over 15. Ang gagawin natin dyan is sa substitute lang natin dito sa um, pinaka, um, dito sa mathematical statement natin na z equals kxy. So, yung makuha natin ay z equals 1 over 15 xy. So, yun yung pinaka mathematical equation natin. Okay, example number, number 2. D varies jointly as h and g. If d equals 15, when h equals 14 and g equals 5, find the constant of variation and write the equation of variation. So, again, step 1, write the mathematical statement of the variation. So, we have D equals KHG. So, D na unang nabanggit si D, kaya siya yung nasa left side. It varies jointly. So, makita natin dito yung word na jointly. Ibig sabihin, uh, kapag may nakita tayong mga variables dyan, sa kasunod nyan, 
ang gagawin natin ay pagmumultiply kasama si K. So, nakuha natin ito, D equals, so, HG, nandito sila sa right side, pinagmumultiply natin kasama yung constant. Okay, pwede natin divide dyan both side ng HG para ma-isolate si K sa right side. Um, para makuha natin yung equation natin for constant. So, kung di-divide natin ng HG both side, makakansal tong HG dito, tapos ito as is na siya. So, makuha natin ay K equals D over HG. So, ito yung equation natin for constant. Step 2, find the constant of variation. So, substitute lang natin mga given values ng DHG. Okay? So, yung dito yung value ng D natin, ay 15 tapos yung H natin ay 14 yun siya, snap chat natin and yung G natin ay 5 so yun siya then simplify, that is 15 over 70 and then simplify, that is 3 over 15 so yung lowest term natin so yung K natin dito ay 3 over 14 and step 3, substitute the constant to the mathematical statement. So, makuha natin ay D equals 3 over 14 HG. So, gamit itong mathematical statement natin na D equals K HG, papalitan lang natin si K dito. So, pinalitan natin siya ng 3 over 14. So, ito yung pinaka mathematical equation natin. Okay, last example. The area A of a triangle varies jointly as the base B and the altitude H of the triangle. If A is equal to 65 square centimeter, when B equals 10 centimeter, and H equals 13 centimeter. Find the area of a triangle whose base is 8 centimeter and whose altitude is 11 centimeter. So, ano ba yung pinapahanap natin dito? Yung area ng triangle kapag daw yung base ay 8 cm at yung altitude ay 11 cm. Okay? So, anong step natin? So, gagayahin lang natin yung step na um, ginawa natin dun sa previous slide. So, yung una, kukunin natin yung mathematical statement natin or yung um, uh, variation statement. From variation statement, ito yung nakuha natin na mathematical statement. So, the area A varies jointly as the base B and H. So, si A na sa left side and si BH naman na sa right side. Pinagmumultiply natin kasama si K. So, ito yung mathematical statement natin. And then, sa substitute lang natin yung mga given values dito. Itong A, 65 square centimeter, 10 centimeter, at saka 13 centimeter. So, kinukuha natin ngayon yung value ng K. So, substitute natin, pulta natin si A ng 65 square centimeter, si B ng 10 centimeter, at si H ng 13 centimeter. So, simplify lang natin yan, 10 times uh, 13, that is 130 square centimeter. So, tandaan na itong unit na to, centimeter times centimeter, magiging square siya. Diba? Um, uh, X times X, that's uh, X square. So, ito naman, centimeter times centimeter um, kaya siya naging square and then we will divide both sides of the equation by 130 square centimeter para ma-isolate si K sa right side so makakancel na ito tapos ito simplify na lang natin so makuha natin dito ay K equals 1 half so malalowest term kasi natin to 65 over 130 into 1 half so, itong square centimeter dito, makakancel na ito. So, ay nasa ilalim. So, yung K natin dito ay 1 half. And then, susulat na natin ngayon yung mathematical equation natin. Yung equation of variation ay A equals 1 over 2 BH. So, pinalitan lang natin si K dito ng 1 half. Nakuha na natin kasi dito na yung, na yung K natin ay 1 half. So, yung equation natin ay A equals 1 over 2 BH. Okay, sasagutin naman natin yung tanong dito, find the area of a triangle whose base is 8 cm and whose altitude is 11 cm. So, balitan lang natin si B ng 8 cm at si H ng 
11 cm. So, simplify lang. 1 half times 8 times 11. That is 44 square centimeter. So, yan yung uh, sagot natin. Dun sa pinapatanong dito na area. Okay, hanggang dito na lang yung video lesson natin. Sana marami kayo natutunan sa video lesson na ito. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga upload ko mga video lessons. Pindutin ang like button sa ibaba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo.